Hello, this is Gio. And what we have here is a little combination of a light switch and a over, overhead fan. Uh, you kind of open this up and a fan works, but this is a light switch. And I want to show you something. I'll just try to turn it on. And the light doesn't really want to stay on. Kind of wiggle it. And clearly the light switch isn't quite working. But um, we're going we're gonna to fix this uh, switch today and I'll show you how. So the first thing to do is just find your fuse box and or your breaker box and turn off the breaker. You want to turn off uh, power to your light switch and sometimes they can be hard to find. This is a pretty little surfing picture of a dog <laughs> on a surfboard. But if you actually just you know kind of look behind it, you'll find we have a breaker box. So. Sometimes these breaker boxes can be hidden, but we'll just open this up and figure out which breaker to turn on the lights. It has a little bit of, let's see, this would be master bedroom. Then let me look through this and see which one. So it looks like this one is for the master bedroom. I'll look at the light and turn this off, and sure enough, it turns off. So we know the power is off, so we're good there. So the first step is just to take off the face plate. We have a flathead screw, screws. So take these four, Oops, just drop that one. And then just take the plate off. Sometimes these could be uh, kind of stuck on because of paint, but just be careful. And there you have, you have the fan component and you have the light switch itself. Next, let's take these two screws for the actual light switch out. I'm using a Phillips in this case. You could also use a flat head, it looks like. But Phillips are a little bit more easier. Sometimes they won't come out all the way because there's a little tab that sort of holds them in place, which is a good thing so you don't lose the screws. Sometimes they don't have that tab anymore. This one's kind of loose. I think I'll tighten that one in while I'm in here. And then this one also has a tab. And then just kind of pull out straight. It might have a little pressure because the wires in there are kind of pushed together. But just gently kind of work it out. Just like that. And you can kind of see, actually, trying to take this out, the whole thing's kind of coming apart here. You might be able to see that. And that's probably part of the problem, the whole, uh, light switch itself is broken and so we're gonna we're gonna have to replace this whole thing sometimes it could have been just a loose wire connection but because of the way the switch was uh, things were kinda there was a short on the switch itself so I went ahead and purchased one of these I'll show you but I'll try to get the rest of this out but before I pull it out anymore I'm gonna test the actual switch make sure that the power is off and so we have the black and red leads and sure enough the power is off. Now actually a lot of these wires are stuck behind the actual fan component so I know I just tightened this up but I'm going to actually remove this so I can get all the wires out so I can work on this just like that and I'll just pull this out and you can kind of see this is considerably there's only two wires of that, but you can see all the wires behind there preventing me from pulling this, this actual box out. So I'm not going to pull everything out, but just a little bit, just so I can kind of work on this component. And what we have here are some black wires, and the red wire in this case, and then some grounding wires on the back, and we're going to remove all those. All right, like I said, I did go ahead and uh, purchase a replacement switch and you can see it's basically identical to the old switch except the ground is in a little bit of a different location here but I'll just remove uh, unscrew these ground and put them here so I'll go ahead and start by taking out these wires Huh. 
depending on how tight these wires are, it can be a little difficult to get them out, but... Just like that, there's one. And this one's actually just a black wire that's been stripped bare on this end so we'll continue along the series so we'll just remember where that's at just like that and then turn this around and remove the grounding wire just like that move it up oops wrong way just like that and you can see the problem here it's actually a broken case and that's what, what, what was causing the short. I'm going to replace it with a brand new one. And here's my new one. I think I'll just go in reverse order and install the ground first. And I just hook it over here and just tighten it up. Now the ground wire is bare. It doesn't have to have any insulation around it. Make sure that it's tight enough just to hold the wire. Actually, here is the ground. It actually doesn't continue all the way. I'm gonna move that around a little bit. And then go ahead and connect the black to the bottom, just like we can see. This is on off. Black wire. Like that, flip it over, make sure it's attached well. Tighten it. And now the red wire, in this case, quite often they're white wires. But we'll go ahead and install the red wire in this case. Out. Crimp it shut. So it hugs around the connector and screw it in. Okay. Everything seems in order. Now I'm going to turn back on the power. I'm making sure that no wires are touching where they're not supposed to be touching. So I'm going to turn back on the power and just very carefully. Turn on the switch and see if it actually turns on the light. So, and it does. Very nice. And then test the fan out. The fan works. Good. Now I'm going to stick everything back in the box. Turn back off the power. That's shut. And so I'm just going to start with the light switch itself. So, and now these are really stiff wires. And this makes a lot of people who work on uh, switches and electrical devices worry. But you just want to try to turn these wires so they kind of uh, fold into each other. And so they'll sit nicely in the box. And as long as there's not excess pressure against the light switch, again, uh, the old one broke and probably occurred when somebody was really forcing this in there. But you just want to kind of just gently kind of work it its way in and then put your screwdriver a little bit. Kinda make sure everything's kind of folded in there. get the screws back in. Once they're in a little ways,
You can fiddle with the wires a little bit more just to make sure that they're sitting in there properly and then finish tightening them up. Now you don't want to tighten them too much to make these little ears bend back. Just enough so that it doesn't kind of wiggle around. You can see it's still wiggling a little bit. And that's pretty good. Now we'll do this second one. Make sure all these wires are out of the way. Okay, and that's good. We'll go ahead and replace the, the face plate screws. You generally want to go cross diagonal when you're replacing more than two. Just like that and then diagonal again just so everything kind of tightens evenly. Just like that. You don't want to tighten the faceplate too much because it, it does crack easily, just enough so the faceplate doesn't uh, wiggle. I'll go ahead and turn back on the power. Test the light again. Works very nice. It's not flickering at all. Test the fan. Fan seems to be working fine. Different speeds. Very good. And so I think this was a successful fix. Hope this helped you out and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.